Is it time to expel Representative Steve King from the House of Representatives? This was done a lot of times in the years past the civil, after the Civil War for those members of the House of Representatives who are still basically loving the Confederacy. I think it's time to talk about it. Check it out. Check, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Using the, the us and them to essentially instill fear in people. The, the, this, this, this is one of the triggers that is wired into us as mammals. And certainly as primates, we see this in other primate populations. Chimpan chimpanzee troops will go to genocidal war with each other. It was Jane Goodall who documented this. And this was literally one troop that had, had previously split into two. So th this is wired into us. We have to realize that war is not an aberration. It's an expression of something that's deep in our genetic code that at some point in time was some kind of a survival advantage for our species. But right now, with 7 billion people on the planet, well, I, you know, I'd say actually not just right now, but for at least the last 10,000 years, has not been so useful to us, particularly when you combine it with the agricultural revolution and technology. Go back and read Dan Quinn's book, Ishmael, if you want to know what I'm talking about there. So we're wired to be freaked out about the other. We're wired to react to the other in ways that include violence. In fact, we're, we're wired to even kill the other if we feel genuinely threatened. And to, or to cheer it on, as we do as we, as we watch the bombing of cities in the Middle East, for example. In Iraq and Afghanistan, we were all, yeah, drop those bombs. And, and, you know, absolutely innocent people were being slaughtered as George W. Bush declared two unnecessary and Ill illegal wars in the Middle East, both of them based on lies. Afghanistan was not responsible for Osama bin Laden. And, and in fact, they, they offered to arrest him and turn him over to a third, third country. And George W. Bush said, no, I'd rather have a war. I mean, you know, keep in mind, he told his biographer, Mickey Herskowitz, in 1999, that if he became president, he was going to have a war. And it wasn't going to be a short war like his daddy had. He was going to have a long war because that's how you get reelected. And Donald Trump was paying careful attention. He's getting ready for his war in Venezuela. You mark my words. So into this room, this basement with two inches of gasoline on the floor, right, standing in gasoline up to our ankles, holding a matchbook, into this room steps Representative Steve King of Iowa with an online meme, with an internet meme, with a picture made up of, of two cartoon characters that look like two human beings, and they're made up of, of blocks that are essentially the states, the red states and the blue states. So you got a red person and a blue person, and they're punching each other. And, and he comes out with this meme that says there's eight trillion bullets out there on one side. And who's going to win the Civil War? Civil War? Really? I mean, this is, this, is, this is Steve King, Congressman Steve King, and the, who used to come on this program. He's been unwilling to for some years now. I, gee, I wonder why. Who, who is just like this unrepentant, open racist, suggesting that we should have a civil war in the United States and that the side that has the most guns is, is going to win. This is, this is absolutely unhealthy. You know, a trillion bullets is a lot of death. And pointing out that one side is well-armed while the other side isn't, pointing that out to deranged people, like the terrorists who shot up Christchurch, New Zealand, or the hate-filled bigots who've been murdering people in the United States for years, po just pointing that out to them. Some among them are going to take that as a call to arms. You know, we've already suffered one brutal civil war. And a lot of people died. 600,000 people died in that Civil War. And what happened after the Civil War? Well, there were still a bunch of people in the House of Representatives who thought the Confederacy was just a fine thing. And how did the House of Representatives deal with them? These people who were still willing to fight the Civil War? They expelled them. 
I'm calling on Nancy Pelosi and the leadership of the Democratic Party in the U.S. House of Representatives, since they control the House, to begin expulsion hearings. To begin hearings to determine whether Steve King should be expelled from the U.S. House of Representatives for promoting a civil war. You think what Ilan Omar said uh, was, was a bad thing? I, you know, this, this is mind-boggling. A civil war in the United States encouraging Americans to take up weapons against other Americans? I mean, how does it get worse than this? And this is a this is a, a, a Republican that the rest of the Republicans are saying, well, yeah, he's here. I mean, we're kind of embarrassed by him, but you know, we kind of agree with him. Come on, guys. In fact, it shouldn't even be Nancy Pelosi and the Democratic leadership saying it's time to expel Steve King from the U.S. House of Representatives. It should be the Republicans. If they have any courage, if they have any belief in the, in the ideals of this country, they should be calling for this.